Thanks to two blowout wins last episode against the Warriors, we now lead Golden State 2-0. The Spurs also lead their series over LA 2-0. And if both teams win today, we do have a rematch of last year's Western Conference Finals and a rematch of the regular season games that were pretty much all close. Like, I think you faced them four to five times and at least four of them came down to the last couple of shots. So they are probably on the same level as us. They might even be a bit better than we are right now. It's hard to say, but both teams are in, in, a, in a very similar level of, uh, of just how good they are. I'm not sure if any other teams in the entire league are as good as us or the Spurs, but uh, I guess that remains to be seen through the rest of the playoffs. But it's time for us to go into game three against Golden State. No differences in terms of the defense that I want to go with. No lineup adjustments. I like who we got. We are playing extremely well. We are 6-0 so far in the playoffs, and now it's time for our first road game of uh, of the series. So I think for game three, I'm going to sim the first half and watch a good amount of the second half, and then we'll get more into game four and, and have that be more of a showcase game. And then if the series is not done after those two games, then I'll try and do game five as well. And if uh, the series is still going after game five, then we'll do part three next episode. But uh, here we go. Game three, Vancouver up 2-0, trying to go up 3 nothing. Let's go. There is a lot of yellow here in the Chase Center as the game tips off. Vancouver starts with it. If we win this game, that pretty much might secure the series, but we are the only team in history to come back from 3-0. So we know that it is possible. Bobo, wide open shot, top of the key, hits back Iron. He's been a good three-point shooter so far in the playoffs, and uh, hopefully that shot is not, not a sign of things to come. It was an open look. We could use some makes there. Jalen Green for three on the move. He pretty much does the exact same thing. Halliburton on the other end, finds Bobo at the hoop. Either guy could have scored, but Bobo opens the scoring for us. Nance sets the screen. Green has it jarred loose and stolen by Todd Graves. I love seeing him play some good defense early on because it's usually a good sign. Anderson at the rim, easy two. I just realized I said that I would sim the first half when I haven't simmed the first half. I guess we'll stick in for the first six uh, or uh, you know seven minutes and then we'll, then we'll sim ahead and sim the entire second quarter. That three drops, though, for I believe that was Tommy Shepard. That's the first bucket for Golden State. Might have been Wallace Nance. I wasn't really paying attention. Graves sees a lane, attacks the rim, and is foul. That's the first on Nance. God, Graves is relatively reliable at the charity stripe. First one does drop for him. The second one is good as well. Nice work. Vancouver leads early on, 6-3. Cameron Bellamy gets the feed. It's his first start of the series, and he knocks it down top of the key. It's actually his second start. I don't know why I can't get things right, but it's his second start. He made some plays last time out, and uh, I think he's been better than Juan Ortiz has so far in the first two games. Ooh, Nance has picked up his second foul in the first two and a half minutes, so he will check out, and Garuba will check in at center. We better attack this guy time and time again. He is way too smart to be out there as their main big man. Halliburton spins, fires over Bellamy, and just misses with his left hand. Tommy Shepard gets by Bull Bull, readjusts and pins there for the stop. Good job. Graves finds some space, top of the key, but he misses the jumper. And Bellamy pulls it down. Step back, and Bellamy misses that one over Halliburton. Graves takes the screen, fires for three again, but that one's off. Payne's there on the glass this time, and puts it in for the second chance points. He's had a great series so far. He had like 24 and 24 in game one. And in game two, 
didn't play as well, but was still pretty solid, and he's been a dominant big man the entire year, led the entire league in rebounding, and he's been even better here in the playoffs. Bellamy's shot won't fall this time either, and Vancouver's back with it. Anderson, open shots, but that one finds back iron as well. Shepard over Anderson. Did not make the shot, but he is fouled. When is Steve Kerr going to retire, man? He's been here for way too long. We're like eight years in the future, bud. The free throws from Shepard both fall. Either team off to a, a hot start necessarily on the offensive end. Graves, deep shot, another open one, this time it'll fall. The assist goes to Halley. Shepard attacks the rim and scores the reverse. He's been a bit more aggressive on the offensive and already has seven points out of their ten. He had seven all last game. Green, Halliburton finds Anderson wide open in the corner. That one is going in nine times out of ten. Shepard to Bellamy. He pulls the trigger, but after he made one shot, he's now one for four. Green guarding Halliburton. Time winding down. Out to Graves. Guarded by Shepard. He will pull the trigger from three. That one's off. He's now one for four. At the rim, Kuminga scores over Bol Bol and... They have closed the gap back to a one-score game. Kuminga has averaged 21 points per game in the playoffs. Has definitely not had any game that is actually showing that besides his 19-point game. But that was mostly in garbage time, so it doesn't really count. Anderson got it to go. All right, we're going to sim ahead now and skip the rest of the quarter and get into the second. Looks like Golden State's going on a run to close out the first, which is awesome because I just jumped out. So hopefully the simming is not going to be an issue, but it looks like it might be as they are geared up for maybe a blowout here in the second, but we're actually battling back to close out the half. And we end up making it a relatively close game. We start off by scoring the first bucket of the third. We're going to jump in here with a four-point contest. All right, so it's 54 to 50. He missed the first play of the half, but this is the first possession for Golden State. And uh, yeah, close game. We'll see how this unfolds. Shepard's waiting for a pass. He finds Jalen Green wide open for three. That one's going in, no, no doubt about it. He had 15 points in the first half. And I don't think we saw, we saw one of those, one of those buckets. As Bol Bol races to the rim, getting by Kuminga. Nice take. Bellamy, the step back jumper. Got it. Halliburton hesitates. Finds Graves wide open for the tray. And that one will drop in. Good shot and good pass. Deppard steps back. And that one rattles in too. Warriors offense is having one of their better games of the series. In fact, this is by far their best performance so far. Halliburton cuts, gets the feed from Bobo and has a wide open layup. Seems like both offenses are kind of humming right now to start the quarter. Bellamy fading away. Not this time. Bobo out to Halliburton, now over to Anderson. Shot clock under five. He will attack the rib. Score and the foul is on Nance. His fourth. When Anderson attacks the rim, it is almost always a guaranteed bucket. And he draws a lot of fouls too. He caps off the three-point play and he closed the lead down to two. Bellamy iso mode against Tyrese. He gets by him and hits the shot. We've only shot 43%. They've shot 49. It actually looks like it's pretty similar uh, numbers in terms of shots. It's Anderson wide open at the rim. Nobody near him. Easy dunk. And it seems like our rebounding has not been 
as good this game as it was in the first two. I'm curious if they maybe made a different rotation change off the bench or something. But it seems like so far, the starters are, are, are the same as game two. And we wallop them in game two in terms of the rebounding. So let's we'll see if the boards will pick up here shortly. Anderson, another jumper that falls for him. We're keeping this game extremely close, but you can't really slow down the Warriors' offense right now. Green to Kuminga. His three is up and out. And now's our chance. Anderson, guarded by Shepard here in the corner. Payne comes over. Good screen. Anderson, out of a shot, finds Payne. Had a mismatch against Shepard, but I guess he just had no momentum to get to the rim. Graves for three, back iron. And now Shepard on the other end, fouled by Bobo, is third. Let's see if there's any foul trouble for him, as they have kept Nance in there with four fouls. Nobody at the scores table for Golden State, so it looks like he'll stay in there, which he will. Meanwhile, Graves for us will check out, and Kelvin Johnson checks in. The free throws from Shepard fall, and he... He's having his best game of the series with 17 points and some good shooting so far. Anderson cuts. Payne finds him. Easy two at the rim. And Anderson's got 29 points. 12 for 16. Apparently Jalen Green's got 18 points on nine shots. And now Kaminga gets wide open down low. Obo uncovered. Top of the key. That shot will go. And now it's a one-point game. Just clawing our way back in, inching closer and closer. Contested three for Jalen Green. He responds immediately. They will not let us take this lead back right now. And taking out Graves will surely not help our defense at all. Shot clock winding down. Anderson pulls the trigger. And we are trading buckets right now like it's nobody's business. 12 here in the quarter for Anderson after 10 in, in, in each of the first two. He's playing great as he had in the first two performances. And this game is extremely tight. With the game being this close, I'm going to watch until it's not close anymore. So probably going to watch the rest of the game if it's this close the whole way. Or within like 10 points. If it gets beyond 10 points, I might sim a little bit. But we'll see what happens. Green hits the floater. And even still, we're having some issues on defense. Cohen Johnson's not going to be any better than Graves. And Graves is doing a decent job, too. Payne gets the feed. He's got Nance on him. His shot is up and in. Neither team can miss right now. And real quick, I want to make a change. Because we have Vanderbilt out there. And Green is still out there. So I'm going to put Vanderbilt on... Uh, Jalen Green, and then I'll let Kelton Johnson guard Kuminga instead. Because Bull Bull is not out there. He got taken out. So uh, for Jalen Green, we're going to put Vanderbilt on him. Yeah, we do have Bull Bull guarding Kuminga. I'm going to change this to Kelton Johnson. And then I'll make the change once uh, the other guys are brought in. So we'll see if this will help our defense. We're not going to see the matchups we want here, but we'll see it next possession, hopefully. Green over Kelton Johnson. Missed the shot. Okay, we'll take the stop. Kelton Johnson finds Anderson. Baseline, what a pass. And what a bucket. And we have just taken our lead back. And Anderson's got up to 34 points now. Still like nearly half the quarter left. Plus the fourth. He might be going for 50 or something if he stays in the rest of the way. But Kuminga gets down low again. Had a couple of buckets down there. Anderson, back to Halliburton for the wide open shot. That one falls. We are absolutely humming right now on the offensive end. And now Anderson gets a steal off a lazy pass from Bellamy. He had Shepard wide open. And now Halliburton's left wide open again for three. Two in a row. Let's go. Our two stars link up for a couple of trays. And we have pushed out to a five point lead. Bellamy behind the back, deflected and stolen by Tyrese. 
He's got Vando to his left. He won't make the pass. He'll find Payne instead on the roll. And he's fouled at the rim with Nance picking up his fifth foul. All of a sudden, the momentum has shifted thanks to a couple of defensive plays. First, it was Keldon Johnson getting a stop on Jalen Green. Then it was Anderson getting a steal. And then it was Tyrese Halliburton deflecting a pass and stealing, leading to this play right here. It's crazy how things can quickly turn around, and we lead by eight all of a sudden. Keldon Johnson guarding Kuminga. He stops him in his tracks. Nice to see some physicality there. Now we got Jalen Shepard with the ball. He'll pull the trigger from deep, and that one rolls around the rim and out. Off the screen, Halliburton fires the three. He won't fall this time, but Vanderbilt's there on the glass. He hands off to Don Payne. Mismatch against Garuba. He will attack him at the rim, and he scores. Ten-point lead now, and I'm going to keep on watching if we're going to keep on playing this well. Kuminga gets the feed and has a lane for the layup and the foul. That's the first on Coden Johnson. Kuminga has actually had a great performance so far. 19 points, around 73% shooting from the field. So he's having some easy work for him, but they did take out Jalen Green and a few other starters. So it's him and a couple of backups out there currently. And so far, I've enjoyed how Tyrese has played. He has mainly passed the ball and when he shot the ball they've been all shots that you would expect him to be taking because they're open just like this one but that one's not gonna fall good pass though three second violation against Kuminga that'll give us the ball right back as Zet has checked in on the previous play and Carney will now check in as Vanderbilt heads to the center position but only for probably a minute or two before we bring in uh, ball boy to play center. And they are pretty small out there right now. They don't have an actual center in there, so this makes sense for us to go a bit more small ball. Halliburton hands off to Vanderbilt. He will not score. He got his own board, though. Halliburton fires. Missed the shot this time. Vando's there. Again, Keldon Johnson for three. And we don't get any points off of three different shots. That's unfortunate. And now Kuminga again slips behind the defense. That's happened several times here in the quarter at the very least and probably more so in the first half. Green from Vando. Halliburton tries again and it's time. Knocks it down. He only had four points on like 14% shooting there in the first half and he's been a lot better here in the third quarter. Kuminga the triple. Not going to fall. He's definitely been worse on the jump shots than anything else. Carney, the three. That one drops. And right now, nobody is playing poorly for us. Every Everybody is hitting their, their shots if they're open or not. I love seeing this. Ortiz has his pass deflected, but Kaminga still gets it through and is again behind the defense. Carney cuts back top of the key, but Kaminga's there to cover it well. Carney attacks. Can't lay it in, though. Good defense by Kaminga. Shepard brings it up. He throws it right to Halliburton. He jumped the pass trying to go for Ortiz. It's a good steal to prevent the bucket. Now Azud has a three, and that one's not going to drop. Ortiz hands off to Kuminga. Out of a shot finds Quinn Baldwin for the corner triple. And that'll cut our lead to six. We will have the final shot of the third. It's going to be a play for Carney, I believe. He's wide open. And his shot falls again. Thank you, number seven. Our lead goes to nine. And that is the end of the quarter. Vancouver up 96-87. That was a very fun performance right there. Let's keep it going here in the fourth. All right, start of the fourth quarter, trying to close this game out. Order on to a nine point lead as Halliburton's first shot of the quarter will not drop. Golden State back with it. 
And now a nice pass to Shepard who cut to the rim. Got to be honest, Shepard and Kaminga have both had much better days today than we saw in the first two games. Green's doing kind of similar things as he was in the first two, but the other two guys have stepped up, and that's pretty much why this game's as close as it is right now, because they've just been playing better than they, than they were. I talked about last episode how they're quote-unquote star players outside of Jalen Green, and even him, to some extent, just weren't playing to their their level from the, the uh, other playoff series, and now it seems like they are. Time cutting down. Cutting Johnson has to force the shot, and it's good in the mouth of Tommy Shepard. My God. Shepard attacks the rim on the other end, and now Anderson's fouled out. No, what? There's no way he had six fouls. No. We got to play the last 11 minutes without our best player. Grails will check in instead. That is a huge game changer. That'll give Cody Johnson probably a lot more minutes and probably might just, just keep him in the game the rest of the way. And I gotta switch Graves back to Jalen Green after these free throws. Holy crap, that is huge. The free throws both are good. It's an eight point game. Are we going to have Graves go back on to Jalen Green? We're going to keep everything else as it was. going to keep... Actually, I think we should switch Bol Bol back to Kaminga so that when he checks in, he's the one guarding him. Otherwise, yeah, for Shepard, I'm not sure who to put on him. I'm not sure because he's playing as well as Green is this game. So you kind of have to pick and choose. I guess I'll put Keldon Johnson on him for now. And hopefully he can stop him better than... Anderson could, but I doubt it. And also, Anderson did foul out with those 34 points. So that is what he finishes with in today's game. Only 29 minutes of action. Yeah, that's that's 10 less than he would usually play. So that's not good. He was on track for like 45 or 50 as well. So that's a huge bummer. And other guys got to step up now, including Todd Graves. Don Payne's on the glass for the board, though. Nice one. Green off the screen, rattles in the tray. We got to play some better defense on him because he's going to hit some really tough shots on us for sure. Alliburton trying to respond, top of the key, yes he will. I saw Anderson give a little ice in his veins, gesture on the bench as soon as that shot went in. We do have Carney at the bench, so Carney might get some really big minutes here. I imagine he'll check in in place of Keldon Johnson. So we'll have Carney and Graves out there instead, which will put Graves back at small four, which is probably a good thing. But do we want Conan Johnson out there in place of Carney? You probably do. Bellamy's three is off. Let him shoot the ball, I guess, and not one of the other star players. Halliburton waits for the screen from Bobo. He takes it. Halliburton races around. Nansen hits the jumper again. With number five not out there. Halliburton has stepped up and he has had a much better second half. Now got 20 points on 17 shots. But uh, that was after a poor first half. Bellamy's jumper falls. It's still a 10-point game. At least we have some, some leeway here. Graves back to Payne. And now he turns the ball over as Bellamy steps in front of the pass. Just a lazy one. Garuba has held the ball for about 10 seconds now. Time counting down. He throws it right to Payne. He makes up for the turnover. And now we give it right back to him. Bobo, what the hell was that? And now a cut by Bellamy. Easy bucket. Halliburton was a bit too slow. They've still a shot better than we have, but we've taken more shots now. So the boards have, I think, gone in our favor. Odin Johnson feeds Don Payne. Nance has got to be one foul away from fouling out, and he's not going to foul Payne this time. We'll just let him score. Green gets the screen back to Nance, but he did not even look at the rim at all. Bellamy will fire for three. That one hits back iron, and we'll call timeout with 7.40 left. 
player of the game is Anderson, despite him fouling out to start the fourth quarter. I mean, he's probably going to outscore everybody else by games in it anyway, which is crazy because he went 14 for 18 from the field, which is just insane. So this is well deserved. And we just did something very interesting. We just took out Tyrese and Cody Johnson to bring in Azette and Carney. I, I will see how this unfolds for the first two minutes or so. And if I don't like what I'm seeing, I'm going to call a timeout. Graves, though, does a good job to slip inside and draw the first foul on Kuminga. There's no way that that is his first foul. I just don't believe that. Looks like Payne's got 15 points and 13 boards. And now Tyus Jones is coming in. What are we doing here? Azette checks out after checking in for 10 seconds. Tyus Jones, who has barely played at all this year, is now in there. And he better guard Bellamy because nobody else is anywhere close to his, his shortness. Dylan Green left wide open for three. I don't love that. Oh, and Wallace Nance just fouled out as well on a reach-in against Jones. And now Dalen Jones is coming out. Dalen Battle checking in point guard. He's a small forward. What's happening in this game? These subs are whack. Carney is still out there. I'm so confused. I haven't seen a second of action from Dalen Battle. And now he's in the, in the fourth quarter in a playoff game that is within single digits. This is crazy. I guess we'll see what happens, though. Graves, open shot, got it. Great job. Tommy Shepard fires off the screen and knocks it down. They just won't let us pull away. Screen from Payne. Graves, the open triple. Not this time. We have seen him take, I think, all of the shots, and he has made three of them. So he's not shooting too well. Uh, I think he's playing well, but he's not shooting too well, but got to start taking some better shots here in the fourth quarter. And if they close the gap to within like six or seven, then I'm going to call a timeout. But a screen for Green, he fires in Carney's face, and that is a low percentage shot. And Tyrese Halliburton, he's hurt. That's why he got taken out. Bruised right shoulder four to six weeks. He's got to play through it. That's the only way. Battle for three. Okay. Maybe he wants some more playing time. Shepard cuts and gets a nice feed from... I'm not even sure who that was. They've got somebody else in there who I've never seen out there on the court for him in the series. I think it's Mo Wagner, actually. Yeah, it is. That's Mo Wagner. Battle. Mid-range jumper. Okay. Five straight points. Our lead goes up to 12. We're seeing some positive things here from guys who we don't see a whole lot from. And I think I saw Tyrese at the scorer's table. Maybe it was Cullen Johnson. But somebody's about to check back in for us. Green, back to Kuminga. And Graves is too late and too short for him. That is Tyrese. But he will come back in despite the injury, which I appreciate. Graves at the rim, back out to battle. His three is up and good again. I imagine his shooting will be a lot worse with the injuries. So if that's the case, you might have to give him some less minutes. Green gets down low, but a lot of room to make up for Golden State here in these last four minutes. Carney, step back, close Ranger, no. And Kaminga grabs the board. He finds Jalen Green. Now he finds Wagner wide open at the rim. Time and time again, I've seen the Warriors slip behind our big man inside, and it's freed guys up for easy buckets that we usually don't see against us. Graves, that's an open shot, and it rattles out. Got to hit those. LME to Green. Thought twice about the top of the key three. Now off the screen from Kuminga. He attacks out of a shot, and now... A very contested one. And it's off the mark. Good defense there by Bobla and Carney, who were both in the area. Graves back to Payne. Wide open shot. He steps into a contested one, though, but why? Cross court pass to Green. He's in the corner. 
Now he finds Kuminga. He finds Bellamy in the corner. But he can't knock it down, which that would have been a very important shot to drop. But it's still a nine-point game as a result. Graves. As the Tates goes back to Payne. Out to Bol Bol now. Carney finds Graves. His three rattles out. Bellamy then finds Wagner. In transition. Easy bucket. Seven point game. Just over two to go. I'm going to wait for the next dead ball because we are going to bring in Vanderbilt and Halliburton. We're going to call Tim out here instead. So perfect. All right. So Halliburton finally checks back in. Hopefully he's not tired now. He was earlier. Maybe that's why we did take him out after he got hurt. But instead we turn the ball over on the inbound pass and give it right back to Golden State. Without even more than four seconds of possession. That's awesome. Thank you, Payne. So a seven point game, which they're about to probably close the gap for. Which is not going to be... Uh, not going to be good. Green for three. There it is. It's a four point game now. We have ruined the game for ourselves. We literally have, like, two guys to go to for offense unless we go for mismatches, which we do right here. Payne missed the shot, but he's there for two. Thank God. They've got Irving out there who has not made an, an appearance in the first two games. We've got Venom out there playing small forward. Green. It's down low. Hands off to Kuminga. Bucket and a foul. Bull ball. You screw up. Come on, man. We're giving them everything they possibly need to make this game as close as possible with like the, the like last two shots of, of the game. Like I know, well, never mind. He missed the free throw. Everything I said is now useless. My bad. Time winding down. Halliburton spots up for the triple, but it's off the mark. Four point game, one minute left. Game is not over. Nowhere close to it. We got a lockdown on defense. Get some stops. Kaminga the screen. Green knocks it down. Two point game. He's got 36 points now, which has surpassed Anderson for most in the contest. We have had no luck guarding him. Halliburton turns the ball over. How do you not get it over the 6-4 Jalen Green? They lob it to tie it up. Are you serious? We've led ever since that third quarter run. And now it's tied. They've been clawing their way back in ever since the injury or the uh, turnover. Not the turnover. Anderson getting out of the game. I'm just saying turnover because we just fucking turned the ball over. What a disgrace of this fourth quarter. But then Graves gets a steal. That's huge. Please, no overtime. Hit the shot in this game. Halliburton, that's not going in. We're going to OT in game three, everybody. What a collapse here in the fourth. Overtime starts, and we are now missing Anderson desperately because you know that he would be stepping up here in overtime. But now a backcourt violation to start things off. That's bad. We take over. Bad mistake by Tommy Shepard. They bring in Garuba at center so we can see if we can take advantage of uh, their lack of defense down low now. I hope we do. Halliburton back to Bulbul. He's wide open for the long two, but he hits back iron. And so far, we have not done a good job on the boards offensively like we did in the first two games. We've been all right, but it has been like the first two. Screen from Kuminga. Graves can't get around it. And now he just blows by Payne. It's crazy how they turn like three second shot clocks into wide open looks, man. It's absolutely insane. All right, real quick. They're going to screens to get switches way too often or to just get uh, open looks and pull guys out. So, um, first of all, why is the on-ball pressure not? I, I, I guess I just left it on automatic. But an off-ball pressure, I want it to be tight. And for on-ball screens, regardless of who it is, I'm calling for a switch now. I'm calling for a switch. I'm tired of this. I want to stop it. Screen for Graves. 
will fire a three on the move. I don't like him taking these shots, especially because he's going to feel like he needs to take them more so because they don't have number five out there. So that means a lot more shots for him. Bellamy feeds Kuminga down low. He's got Vando on him. He's forced to pass out. Bellamy has it. Time counting down. He has to fire a three. He missed it. Good stop. Screen from Bobo. Halliburton back to him. He got the mismatch against Green. He spins and throws it up. That's not the good shot. But Payne will take a good one plus the foul on the glass. This is why they cannot keep Garuba out there. He's just too small at center. The free throw for Payne is good. We're back, at, back in front. All right. One point lead. Let's get some defensive stops and end this game before it's too late. That's a bad shot from Green. And we got to grab that board. But then he can't turn it over. Bowl Bowl. Not again, man. That's two dumb turnovers here in the last two, two quarters. In the fourth and overtime, two costly mistakes. If they score here, I'm going to be pissed. Bellamy. Back to Shepard. Now he throws it right to Graves. That was just an awful play. I'm not even sure who I want to be taking the shots because Halliburton's hurt. Payton's not the best shooter. Vando can't shoot. Graves is not too good at it. Bol Bol is alright. So I guess Bol Bol. Graves misses it, but Payton is there on the glass again, dude. What a huge play that was. He is stepping up here in the fourth quarter and overtime. He's got 22 points now. He's going to end with 20 and 20 at the very least, probably. Two minutes to go. Back up by three. Need more stops. It's not over yet. Shepard has not scored in a little while since that lob attempt to tie things up in the fourth. Green, no, and Payne was there on defense. He's stepping up at both ends, man. High screen from Payne. Halliburton fires on the move. What a shot! He's got a bruised shoulder, and he's doing that. Green, double team. He finds Garuba for the tray, but he can't knock it down. They've only scored one bucket here in overtime, and it was their first one. Now a screen for Vanderbilt. Halliburton lobs it for him, but that's a turnover. We can't be having those now. All right, whatever we do, no threes. No threes. No threes! We're not out of the woods. Halliburton misses, but Payne is there again. Number 39 is the savior. Halliburton stays in there. We took out Vanderbilt, and now it's Carney in there. We go with a smaller lineup, but still what we're kind of used to for the starters. Shepard. Gets the feed. Misses the three. That is a massive miss. They have to foul now. And as long as we hit the free throws, once they have to foul again, we should be in good shape to close this game out. Our injured point guard will head to the charity stripe. To put this game on ice, hopefully. It's not entirely over if he makes both, but it's damn close. First one is good. The second one is up and good as well. Ice in his veins, like Anderson said earlier. Absolutely huge. Eight point lead or seven point lead, they call timeout. Dylan Green hands off to Todd Graves. What is he doing? A couple of huge crunch time steals by him to. Help us win this game. And Vancouver takes game three after a bit of a scare. And we lead the series 3-0 thanks to a couple of guys stepping up in Don Payne, Tyrese Halliburton, Todd Graves, Dale in battle. All those guys stepped up. Carney as well had a couple of big shots. And the Warriors had a taste of victory for a moment but it slips through their fingers 
and we hold on. Well, that game pretty much had everything. It had huge shots, uh, threes to close games, a comeback in the fourth quarter to force overtime, two guys found it, two, two starters fouling out, one of whom was the leading scorer in the game until he, he had, had to exit. And then, uh, I mean, yeah, you can't really ask for a lot more to have in one single performance. Jalen Green with 41 6 9. He was really good. Pretty much unguardable in, in, uh, in, in this one, regardless if it was on him. Kaminga, 28 and 7. Tommy Shepard, 27 and 9. Like all three, like these star players, their, their core trio, those guys were great in this one. But this wasn't enough because the Woodsman had 34 from Anderson, who checked out with. 11 minutes to go in the fourth quarter and still ends up leading us in points by nine. 14 for 18 from the field. Halliburton puts together a spectacular second half with a couple of nice steals, assists, buckets, threes. Don Payne with a massive performance, 24 and 19. With a, like, I, I want to say over half of those coming in the second half in overtime, he was 11 for 14. Bol Bol had some big shots, 14 and 7 for him. Todd Graves, 12 points, shot poorly, but five big steals. That's what you look for. And how about Dalen Battle showing us something that we haven't seen from him? Well, because we haven't seen him play at all this year. He comes in thanks to some questionable coaching, and he goes three for three, which was great to see. Cotton Dawson actually shot pretty poorly, so I can't say good things about him. But uh, for the most part, guys stepped up when our best player had to leave. And uh, great job by these guys. So Halliburton has a bruised right shoulder. I'm going to leave our rotation as it is. And they will keep their lineup the exact same as the last two games. It's probably their best lineup that they can possibly put out there. But for Tyrese, how much does the injury affect him? He only goes down by one overall, actually. So, at least that's good. And for the attributes that do go down, there are some shooting ones, but it's not by a whole lot. So, I'm, I'm not going to make any adjustments. I'm also not going to give any uh, minutes to, to a Dylan battle because we just don't have the minutes to give right now in, in the playoffs. So, I'm not going to be doing that. But at least Halliburton is going to be fine. As long as it, we, 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 we don't lose Anderson an injury or or fouling out again then we are good for game four probably and so uh in game four i'm probably just gonna sim the first half uh might have been in the second if it's a close game or actually i, I think i might watch the second or the uh last six minutes of the first half and then watch a good chunk of the second and round things out there and uh hopefully we just win this game and can uh sweep them well, let's find out. We're going back on the road in the Chase Center. All right, it's time for the close game. And apparently, Jonathan Kuminga is slightly hurt as well. And we're off to a great start in this first quarter. I'm scoring them by around 10 to kick things off. And the first quarter is just definitely going our way. Good work. Outscoring them by 9. Second quarter. Hanging on, and we're going to jump in here with uh, a pretty sizable lead. Going to see where things lead until the, the uh, break at halftime. Here we go. Oh, we're up 44-27. Things are looking pretty positive so far. But the Warriors have the ball down by 17. We'll see if they can close the gap or if we can increase it before halftime. Dylan Green against Keldon Johnson. Can't get by him, and now Halliburton jars the ball loose, and Coden Johnson picks it up for the steal. Love seeing our guys play some defense out there. Anderson cuts. Spobel finds him a bit late, but he will still get in there for the free two. Green gets by Coden Johnson and stuffs it all over Don Payne. Coden Johnson, decent look for three. Off the mark, but Payne is there. 
the offensive board. There's just nobody on their team that is tall enough to do a better job than Payne, and it's just easy work for him. Bowa misses the shot, and Bellamy jumps in front of Anderson for the offensive or the defensive rebound, rather. Now he steps back for the three, and it rattles in. Nice shot. Payne over to Anderson for the long two. That one rattles out. Bellamy again. Nope. Anderson, contested shot over green, doesn't matter. It's going in. Shepard, blocked by Don Payne. We have not seen many blocks in this series. But we just saw one right there. And off for Coden Johnson. He attacks the rim, then makes a pass back out to Halliburton. Off the screen, Halliburton is fouled by Nance, his first. He fouled out in the fourth quarter of last game. But has done a better job uh, keeping himself from picking those up here in this one, apparently. First free throw drops. Todd Graves will check in. It'll put Keldon Johnson back on the bench. The free throws, both are good. Baldwin at the rim over Graves. Can't get it to go. Good defense. Three minutes to play until halftime. We've got 25 boards there, 16. It looks like we're still keeping up the rebounding effort. Alan Burden hesitates, then pulls the trigger, but missed the shot trying to use the glass. He's only three for 11 here in this one. We've got 13 points. It probably uh, put him on a free throw for him as Quinn Baldwin knocks it down from beyond the arc. And our lead is cut to 15 points, but their offense is looking more like their game one offense. Only 35 points here in the half. Anderson over Shepard missed it, but he got his own board back. Nice seeing him contribute on the glass. Graves back to Bull Bull. Over to Halliburton. and time counting down. He fires over Ortiz and knocks it down. Yes, sir. Quinn Baldwin pulls the trigger. But he missed it. We got a mismatch against Ortiz with Bobo. And he just scoops by him. That was so easy for him. They have only shot 37%. They go to Baldwin again. And he misses at the rim. Anderson inside. Misses the shot again. The, the only times where they've stopped him down low is when Jalen Shepard's been on him. And once with Kuminga, as that shot falls for Golden State. But um, to be honest, I feel like Game 3 was their maybe only chance to find some actual momentum as Anderson cans one from the top of the key. You're seeing why. They just can't get back in this game and they're already down by 19 points. Like, it, it's not looking good for them and last game was their only chance. Kuminga the screen. Shepard, the shot. It falls. Vancouver will have the last shot of the first half. Wonder what the play call will be. Alliburton to Graves. Open shot, but he left it short. No chance for Payne to put it back in. But a 17 point lead at halftime. We'll take it. We jump ahead with 6.14 to go in the quarter, and uh, we'll hold on a minute. Golden State making things a little bit interesting here as they have closed the gap to 10. That's scoring us 16-9 to nine to start the second half off. So we're back to a similar story as to last game. Unless we can pick things back up on both ends. Shot clock winding down. Alliburton has to fire. It's a decent look, and it's good. How has he been from downtown these last couple of games? Bellamy. Nice pass to Nance, but Payne makes a great block. Wow, he had to turn around and just get up in the air high for that one. Nance is 2 for 10. Payne is completely locking him down as Sanderson skies for the lob from Tyrese Halliburton. I love when those two guys link up because it's always explosive. Garuba. Finds Tommy Shepard. 
He's well covered by Anderson. He'll pull up anyways, but the shot's off. We'll find Bobo instead. He's got a mismatch, but he steps out of bounds. I saw it coming. Dylan Shepard finds Baldwin on the cuts. Easy bucket right there. Halliburton off the screen from Payne. Fires a three again, but it won't fall this time around. Shepard trying to use his physicality, and he does. Nice shot. 13 points. He like he's found his rhythm on the offensive end. Payne going at Garuba, and he scores. Five on the clock. Shepard against Anderson once again at the rim. Missed it this time. Way to bounce back on defense and get a stop this time around, buddy. Alliburton on the move. God damn! He's got 26 now. Shepard gets around Anderson, fires and knocks it down. Payne was just a inch or two out of reach. Vanderbilt to Anderson, back out to Halliburton. Time counting down. He gets inside, can't score, but Payne's there on the glass. Why do they keep Usman Garuba out there at center? That's not the answer. It never is. Ortiz, the step back, but he missed the shot. Under two to play here in the quarter. Off the screen. Alliburton back to Vanderbilt. What a scoop and score. It's usually a term used in the NFL for a, a fumble that's returned for a touchdown, but that was a scoop and score right there. Galen Shepard pulls the trigger, but missed it. And now a chance for us to go up by 20 or more if we score on this possession. Alliburton. Frees himself up. Missed the jumper, though. Shepard finds ball. One in transition. And his three will go in. It's back to 15. Halliburton. What a pass to Vanderbilt. He was mismatched. How does Shepard... Was, he, he, Shepard was not even looking. And he got a steal. Are you kidding me, dude? It went off his back. And he grabbed it without even looking. What the hell? Vanderbilt has to back down Juan Ortiz there, man. He's 6'2". You're like 6'9", man. I don't care how fucking bad you are at shooting or scoring. You gotta do that. Nice pass to Payne. His jumper is off. Vanderbilt is back on the boards. We hang on for one more shot. Tyrese knocks it down this time. Nice one. The Warriors will have one final chance at things. Tommy Shepard finds Jalen Shepard, and those two unrelated last namers link up, and it's a 13-point game with one quarter left. It's not over yet. Well, to start the fourth quarter, Don Payne, bucket and foul. That's actually Anderson. I was, I, I gotta be honest, I was looking at my phone. That's my bad. I'm currently 25 minutes out from having a free agency in real life start for the NBA. So this is, I mean, you're getting the current time tip is 5.35 p.m. EST. Or I guess EDT if we're in daylight time, which we are. Out of bounds though, hey, we take over. Alliburton off the screen for three. Around the rim and off. Wait, okay. Wait, Bellamy just missed the shot. I... Where is Jalen Green? Has he been in the game at all that we've watched? I don't think he has. Is he hurt? Did he foul out? I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's hurt. I don't recall seeing him, like, at all. Don Payne. Easy, too, off the feed from Anderson, and we're back up by 18. Let's check that real quick. Has he played? He's played 23 minutes, only has 7 points. Where the hell is he? He's played as much as Wallace Nance, so I guess he is fine. He does not seem to be hurt, but he's not in there. Baldwin, mid-range jumper, open look. It's good. 
If we get to the like eight minute mark of the quarter and we're still up by like 18 points or more, I'm gonna sim ahead. Anderson for three missed it, but Payne is once again there and he was fouled. And that is a horrible foul from Baldwin. That is really bad. The free throw for Payne is up and good. What a series he has had. Yeah, well, Jalen Green's back out there, and Vanderbilt's called for a third foul, but he's not hurt. He's back out there. Green off the screen and misses the shots. All right, we'll take it. We score one more bucket, actually, right now. We've if we scored this position, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sim ahead. I don't feel like watching 10 minutes of us being up by 20. Anderson, 11 for 20. Playing well, he's had a much better series in this one than against uh, than against. God, I forget who we faced in the first round, man. I am losing it. What's going on with me? We flash ahead though, four and a half to play, and we are still up by 20, or I mean more than 20. We're at 23 now, but still looking solid. Score of 102 to 79. I think we all know that, that that this game, this series is over. I think the fans know it. These guys are all just quiet out here. But uh, let's watch some more highlights and uh, round this series out. Anderson misses at the rim. And Baldwin ends up with it, though. He's got him in wide open. It's Tommy Shepard. Corner three. It's good. It was the Thunder who we played round one. It took me this long to figure it the fuck out. Jesus Christ. Anderson again another two points for him and he's probably going to be the uh if there was some kind of award for a player of the series it's definitely him he's been fantastic like I mean fantastic in all four of these games he has not had one bad game at all and they, they they've all been around or more than 30. Anderson again. Just don't, don't don't even try to guard this guy. It's not gonna work. He's got 31 now. Payne slips by a Bellamy off the lead pass from Anderson. Those two guys have linked up a couple of times in today's game. Back up by 24 with about 90 so seconds left. Another mismatch down low. Payne against screen. Easy two. Not even a question. I'm sick of this Jalen and Green guy. He just hit three threes in a row pretty much. All in garbage time to make his numbers look fucking better. He had nine points prior to that. What a joke of a player. Vancouver's moving on. We are returning to the WCF. We made history last time we got there. Now we're going to see if we can just avoid having to do it again. Probably going to face the Spurs, but we'll see after we exit this game. What a performance. Two sweeps in a row. Even better than last year's playoff start. And that one was really good. Vancouver is the first team to punch their ticket to the WCF. We take down the Warriors by 20 in game four. Tommy Shepard drops 20. Kaminga had 16. Green had more than half his points coming garbage time, so don't even bother with that. He was awful in uh, arguably the most important game of the series for them. The Woods, though, got 32 and 10 uh, from Halliburton, despite, I mean, well, not, not despite, he would just shot poorly overall in this game. Uh, but we still won. Anderson, 31 5 and 5, has not had a bad game since the first round. Don Payne, same story for him. He had five blocks in, the, in, in, in this game. That's absurd. Todd Graves, three steals. Good work. Nobody was bad except for Bol Bol and Tyrese if you take away the assists. But we come out on top. And so far in these playoffs, we have had two extremely close games. We've had one like a mid-tier game. And then all the others have been blowouts. And someone did comment uh, last episode... Maybe there's a slider or a tendency change in the works. And um, I'm going to say this. 
the series against the Spurs, because they're going to probably sweep the Lakers here in this one moment, um, that series will probably determine where I lean in terms of sliders. I, I don't really want to change them right now because we performed this well in the playoffs last year before we reached the WCF. So I think it was a case of us finally making that move, bringing in Tyrese, which puts us just, just head, head and heels over the rest of the teams besides the Spurs, maybe the the, uh, the uh, Cavs. So I think that is what is going on. Uh, but if we blow out the Spurs more than once or twice, especially if we sweep them, then there's probably a problem because I don't think that we deserve to be sweeping the Spurs in this series at all. But now let's sim ahead and see if they will make it. And they do. Meanwhile, Boston beats Cleveland once again in seven games. So actually, no, that was last year. Cleveland did it to them. So they actually pretty much reversed the roles here in 2030. And they are in the ECF facing off against Philadelphia, who took down the Pacers in five games. Who does Philadelphia even have? They've got Dedrick Sloan, who is one of the top young players up to an 85 overall. And in this series, at least against the Pacers, he has been elite. He had 14 and 10, 23 and 10, 27 points, 30 and 8, and then 35 and 16 in the closeout win. They also have Tyrese Max. He had an 87 overall. He's been uh, pretty damn good, actually. No bad games in quite a while. Like, you have to go really far back to find a poor shooting night for him. Then you got Ochai Agbaji, who, who uh, used to be with the Jazz. They've got Lonzo Ball, who I hate to play against because he is a three-point uh, mastermind. He had 19 assists in this game in Game 5. They've also got Henrik Eklund. So they have a lot of guys that could really drop some, some good offensive games on you. So this could be more of a team that's well-rounded and not focusing on like two-star players. They also have Joel Embiid off the bench, which is insane. So Philly has a very good and a very deep roster. So that's going to be a interesting matchup for Boston. But they have Tatum, they have uh they have Luka. So it's it's two-star players with a couple of uh fill in the blanks around them against more of a well-rounded team. Meanwhile, you have us against the Spurs and our teams are very similar. We know all about this matchup already. So in the quarterfinals, which was the series against Golden State. Who is the best? Well, it was definitely Anderson with 35 points per game. Just under six boards, four assists. He shot 60%. Like, that's... That's... It's insane. He shot 55 from 3, 94 at the charity stripe. Halliburton shot below 40%, but shot pretty well from 3 and from the charity stripe. So you take that. He also had 12 assists per game and 24 points per game. Don Payne, 20 points per game, 19 boards, 65% shooting. Bobol, 11 and uh, 9 with 48% shooting. Todd Graves was not good offensively in this series, despite a couple of highlights. Uh, Conan Johnson shot poorly. Carney shot poorly. Azette shot well and very minimal playing time. Vanderbilt was all right. So... It was pretty much Don Payne, Anderson, and then after them, Halliburton and Bulbul. So those are the guys that we re relied on to get the sweep in this one. And uh, we did not need a whole lot more than that. In the playoffs, here are your updated numbers. 30 points per game for Anderson. Halliburton, 24 and 11. Don Payne, 19 and 17 on average. Todd Graves is shooting poorly here in the playoffs, but uh, he is worth having out there for his defense alone. I think we all knew where this entire year was going. I'm pretty sure we all had the idea in our heads that we were going to see the Spurs again in the playoffs, and it was going to be in the Western Conference Finals. So we once again have to face them, and probably this is probably going to be an even tougher series than last year. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Not only that, but Tyrese Halliburton is now hurt having to do with a bruise right shoulder. And uh, our team looks a little bit different, but overall it's pretty much the same as it was last year. Their team is pretty much the same as it was last year, but both teams are better. So 
this series could go any kind of a way. And regardless of which way it goes, whether it's us or them, um, I think it's probably going to be well-deserved for either team. That'll do it here, guys. And uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on the playoff run and then your thoughts on the matchup, your, your thoughts on maybe who's going to win it. And uh, yeah, we are in store for something special here next time out, guys. So until then, thanks for watching and peace out.